everybody, it's Jamie from Plum Island Sea Cabin. It is 76 degrees in November. It's incredible. I'm grabbing an iced coffee and we're hitting the beach because we're going shelling. I got my first holiday cup of the season. It is crazy hot out today for November. So we are at the bar head rocks. We are in the jetty. Look at the size of this vertebrae. Oh my goodness, that is huge. This is probably super stinky, but because of the size of it, we're gonna keep it and we're gonna dry it out. I've never found a vertebrae this big before. It's a really nice find. So this is a really good find. Super excited about it to add it to my bone collection. So we're definitely putting that in the backpack and we're gonna see what else we can find. So there is a super mega moon underneath this rock. I'm gonna try to get in there to get it. I don't know, these, bar these rocks are really covered with barnacles so they really hurt when you kneel on them and when you scrape yourself against them. So trying to avoid major injuries here. But I am gonna stick my hand under here to see if I can pull this out, loosen up some stuff around it. Hope there's no big crabs under there. I think I got it. Oh. I can get the camera around here. Oh. That is a good mega moon. Look at those colors. I love that chocolatey whirl. I love the blue. That is pretty incredible. I'm gonna put that there, show it to you while I get off of these really prickly barnacle because they are hurting my knees. If I was wearing shorts today, this would not be possible. But long pants are my friend, especially at a barnacle covered beach. But this is a very cool find. And I am loving this shell. That is a good score. And we just got here like 10 minutes ago. So I'm hoping this is a good indication of what our finds are gonna be like today. So we've done that huge giant vertebrae and this huge moon. And we didn't even get into the thick of the rocks yet. So let's go. Okay, I'm getting super excited because I just popped over to this section and it looks like there's some pretty large moons over here. Some megas, some sand dollars. You can see things caught in the rocks. So the first one we're gonna look at, there's one down here. I don't know if we'll be able to get that out. That's like really deep, but we're gonna try because that's what we do. But there is another one over there. It's on the smaller side. We'll probably leave that one and not focus our efforts there. There is a sand dollar here. So that's a good score. We will leave this here for another sheller to find. There's like moons all over this section though. Whew. Almost took a digger there. But this one looks really large. I'm gonna see if I can grab my screwdriver and pop this one out. Be careful. Also, try not to get wasted by a wave. But there's a lot of stuff around it. So I feel like if we loosen it, if we loosen it up, we should be good. I don't want to break it in the process. I'm not the most gentle person. So that could very well happen to me. But that was a good chunk to get out of there. I feel like if we remove this one, I'm trying to give you a better view without dropping my bag in a tide pool. Move that out of there. I did see it wiggle a tiny bit. It is moving a little bit. I am being very careful. I don't want to snap it. Digging stuff out. 
loosening stuff. I think I am going to try to pull it out with my hand now. Oh, that is not even budging. Just going to have to keep digging. The way that I think about it is if it got in there, it can get out of there. It's just about taking the time to free all of the stuff around it. Can see it wiggling a little bit. I'm going to try to pull it out again and again. Not budging at all. This rock is pretty huge, but I am going to try to move it because that might be the key. I may need to put my camera down. We got it. It's huge. So we got it. It's huge. I don't know if it's a record breaker, but it is definitely up there with some of the biggest moons we've ever found. It is in really good condition. Look at the size of this. It's almost my full palm. My palm is about three and three quarter inches, almost a four inches wide. So that is about a four inch moon right there. So that is a really good size. I'm really pleased with this. I'm going to rinse this off and give you a better look. So I am rinsing this one off down here. This is that big one we just pulled out. But there's another one down here. Kind of small. But you can see there's moons all around this section. But this is, so far, my favorite find of the day just because of the size of it. Look at that. Huge. And mega. And magnificent. Okay, it's starting, it's starting to get deep over here, but I do see something that I want to check out. There is a large moon trapped in between those two rocks over there. This is about up to my calves, but I feel like if we go in really quick, see if we can grab it and go, we should be good. Not spend too much time in this section. I feel like we can probably get it out. Ooh, there's a giant crab there. That looks like a giant rock crab. We will see on both of these. So this is a good score. It did just pop right out. Good color in there, but I'm going to leave this for another sheller. Because I don't want to spend too much time in this area, but we do want to check out this crab because it is huge. I don't know if it's alive. I don't know if it's alive. But we are going to see. And it is alive. Oh my goodness. That is a ginormous crab. So let's bring it over to this section. I mean, look at the claw on that thing. Holy cow. I'm actually going to pick it up from the back to give you a better look before we release it so it can go on its merry way. But that is a huge crab. Look at the size of this crab. Holy cow, that is big. Huge crab. The size of that claw. Big crab. Good visit. So we are going to put this crab back down here. Let it go on its way. Maybe we'll move it to a safer location. I'll put you by a big rock so you can climb underneath it so you can be safe. Let's go over here. I feel like this is a good spot for you. Lots of places for you to hide. And I will see you around. Thank you for the visit. Don't pinch my toe. We are friends. Bye.
Here's a cute little find down here. This is an Atlantic razor clam. It is hinged. These are very, very fragile. And I hardly ever collect these because I am not a careful person and I break them. So when I find them, I tend to leave them here. But again, it's an Atlantic razor clam, super, super fragile. It is a bivalve. So it has that hinge that holds the two together. And when it's alive, the mollusk lives inside there. And it's a really great find, has some really cool markings, but we will leave this here because I will for sure break this. Some cute things down here. Look at the color in this shell. Wow. That is incredible. Looks like it was the meal of another predatory snail. Beautiful shell. This would have been a really nice pair of angel wings. That nice orange color. Still really beautiful piece of shell. Look at all that detail in there. We are in the little tide pools and there are some really beautiful periwinkle shells. This actually, I can feel it underneath my hand moving around. This definitely has a hermit crab in it. But look at that shell. Look at all the marbling in it. We do have a little hermit in there, so we will put this shell back. Don't want to freak them out too much, but gorgeous home you have. I'm like freaking out on the size of these moons today. Look at this one over here. I don't want to get too excited until I pull it out because they've deceived me before. And I got to be really careful about walking over there. But this looks like a monster moon. Look at this. And it's just like laying there. Wow. Let's rinse this off. It's got a lot of blue in it. This is definitely a favorite find of today. It probably measures in a little under three inches, maybe just around three inches, without having a tape on me, a measuring tape. I do not know, but that is a good size northern moon, and this is what we come to Plum Island for. There are just so many of these awesome giant moon shells. And no matter how many I find, like I can't get enough of them. Let me back out a little for you. I always feel like I have the shells like right up in your face. But that is a great shell. I am really pleased with the shells we're finding today in today's hunt. So look at all the stuff in these rocks. There is so much to look through and explore. And I mean, we can spend all day here and still never get through like the half of it. I mean, look at the size of some of these that are broken. Can't get this one out, but I don't want to cut myself trying, but they're so huge. The only thing that would be better than this is if we stumbled on like a Neptune. That would be pretty incredible. But this is still bananas. And it goes on and on and on. So I am hitting this section of the rocks and this is just a little good indication. I stumbled upon this right here. And what that tells me is that someone's already been here that's been looking for the same type of shells I look for. So we are going to abort this mission in this area and we are going to head over to the Emerson Rocks to see 
what Kim has been finding. More evidence that someone's been here, so we are definitely getting out of this territory. It is a gorgeous day at the beach. There are so many people here because it is so warm for November in New England. Last week it was in the 20s. Today, 76, blue sky and beautiful. It's incredible. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. That is so cool. So we'll zoom out on that a little bit. But with the tide going out, it is exposing all of these really cool sand dollars. And we are loving it. And just because I'm always looking down at the beach, I always have to remind myself to take a second and take in this incredible ocean. So we almost stumbled on a crime scene here. So you can see the seagull footprints. You can see the hole from which it dug up this ginormous moon, which is still alive. You can see that operculum here. It is closing up. See all that water getting pushed up and out. That seagull was just about to make you its meal. So we're going to walk you back to the ocean and get you in some water so you can bury yourself again. Bury yourself and be safe. It's dangerous out there. You have a beautiful, beautiful home. Thanks for the slime. We're gonna put you back into the ocean. Be safe out there. Make good choices. Woo. Okay, so there's something really exciting down in between these rocks. I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see the apex or the whirl of that moon shell that's kind of peeking out. I'm going to reach my hand in there and see if I can grab it. Um, there's a little sandbar that I could kneel on here. Let's see if I can set my camera up here. I just smush it down in the sand. See if I can go in. So here it is. We did get it. I'll pull it out so we can get a better look. So that is a good man. That'll clean up nicely. All of that mucky dirt will come off with some peroxide so for my regular shells i soak them in peroxide a mixture of peroxide and water so one part peroxide three parts water but when something's like really funky or i have something that i really want to clean up that's kind of been stinky or really covered in muck for a while i'll do one part bleach four parts water so i think the peroxide will take care of this but if not We'll switch it up for something a little bit stronger. But that was a good find. Glad we were able to get it. So we are still in the rocks. There's a lot of really good stuff jammed in here. So, I mean, this is really beautiful, this moon. If I can get it out, it might be a screwdriver situation if I can't get it to wiggle out. But I mean, look at that surf glam. That's all the way in there. That's definitely something we want to take a look at just for the size of it. It's really huge. I'm going to grab my screwdriver, see if I can pop this little one out because I really like the color on it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have a screwdriver here. Let's see if I can dig it out. Oh, that was quite easy. Oh, I did break it, but. That's really beautiful color. It did break that, so that is a bummer. I'm going to try to get in there to get that giant surf glam out. I don't know if we're going to be successful, but we're going to give it a shot. 
hoping all I have to do is reach down in here. Oh, there's a big crab in there. It scared me super bad. Sorry, crab. But we were successful. And there is some really good coloring in that, which I do like. So I'm glad we went in there. Even though we got scared by that big crab, I'm glad we went in there and got this. It's really, really pretty. I really like the scars where the adductor muscles were. There's a lot of really good coloration in there. And, of course, where the umbo is, all those really cool grow lines in there. It's really nice. There, it looks like there would have been a really nice blue mega moon, but it is busted up stuff. So let's go see what else we can find. There's a tiny one here. Looks like it could be really colorful. It's a good one. Leave that. There's a bigger one over here. This one might be one I need to pull a rock off of. Here. Let's rinse this off. A nice old rustic one. Leave that one here. Nice sunset orange shell. So this is a good example. This was probably really dark blue when it was exposed and then oxidized to this gorgeous tangerine orange color. Nice blue mussels. You really can't beat the shimmer on the inside of these blue mussel shells. It's like you see them laying in the sand like that, and then it's like, okay, you pick it up and it's like, bam. Look at that. That's incredible. Nice one. Let's rinse this off. Good color. Okay, so we finally caught up with Kim. And Hi. <laughs> she's going to show us her finds. What do you lots have? Of lots oh my and gosh, lots so of many fan dollars today. Oh, look at this one. Mm. Very nice. Oh, these are like my favorite ones. The dark ones, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I love these. And if you're lucky, they'll stay dark too. Yeah. Well, I don't know, probably 20 so far. 20 fan dollars? Oh, that's a nice one too. Mm. I know. You're like, I'm not done. We're staying no, for at least another exactly. hour. Yeah, I like the dark ones, too. You know what? I feel like the, the design on them is just more defined. This one will bleach nicely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Mm. I'm not going to make you take all of them out, but they're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. What else you got? Ooh, Kim, that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? That is really right. nice. Mm. I wonder if the color is going to stay on that. That's really nice. Oh, my God. Look at that moon you have in there. Oh, isn't that great? That might be a record breaker. Huge. That is huge. Mm. That is a good size. I found a really big one today too, like probably about this size. Yeah, I found one that was probably That's bigger. That's my favorite. I love and that around. part. The colors are so nice. It's really nice. So we are just about to head out, and we had an awesome day of shelling. Thank you so much for shelling with me, and I'll see you next time we hit the beach.